The dairy industry produces a large amount of wastewater, generating about 2 to 10 liters of effluent per liter of milk processed. In this regard, whey is a key problem in the industry due to high conductivity and organic matter levels. Moreover, the dairy industry sludge is commonly spread directly on agriculture land, with the obvious limitations that this entails, or treated in an on-site or local mixed wastewater treatment plant. These are not cost-effective solutions due to high economic costs that most of the SME dairy producers cannot afford. Considering that 80% of European dairy companies are SMEs, the management and the treatment of wastewater represents one of the main environmental problems in the dairy processing industry. El Canadel is a Spanish farm producing fresh milk, yogurts and cheese that face such problems. As an example, for every three kilograms of fresh cheese produced, six liters of whey are generated. And for each kilogram of dry cheese produced, nine liters of whey are generated. Their current solution to manage whey is mixing it with a pig slurry and throwing it to the fields, for which they have had to buy more fields and therefore the transport costs have increased. In order to improve this situation, El Canadel joined the Rewagon Project research team that unites 10 partners from different European countries representing different segments of R&D. In this project, several technologies have been combined in an innovative way to allow the cleaning of the water and, in order to test the system, a pilot plant was installed in El Canadel. As a preliminary step, the water is treated in order to remove oils and fats that may interfere in further processes. After, the water is treated with a process of electrocoagulation plus electrooxidation in order to remove pollutants and allow the recovery of hydrogen. Finally, the water is deionized with the electric currents to remove any dissolved salts. This produces purified water that can be reused for different purposes, including the production of dairy products themselves. Moreover, the recovery of hydrogen allows a new way to generate energy that could enable the system to save energy and to close the water cycle. The test analysis shows that the system's operating principle has been proven and that it is possible to electrochemically generate hydrogen in the electro-oxidation unit for later use in electrically powered water treatment facilities. Nevertheless, a challenge still exists to achieve the efficiency of a plant at full industrial scale. For this reason, more research efforts on this field are crucial to El Canadel or any other SME within the dairy industry to manage their wastewater in a cost-efficient way with respect for the environment. To find out more about Rewagon, please visit our webpage or follow us on social media.